you all right there? Uh, maybe it's turning a bit. Yep, you've got a That's it. adjuster on your left side, and you've got a rake to your left wheel, basically. So you can lean your back or forward. Whatever you need. I think that's the lowest probably, it doesn't go any lower. Is that lowest? Okay, and the steering wheel's okay. No, no. Okay, yeah, that's alright. There you go, you can prop that on. This is Howard, your instructor, he'll look after you. Hi, he uh, will. Pierre, nice to meet you. What's yeah. your name, sorry? Howard. Howard, okay. Okay, watch name? the same. Pierre. Oh, sorry? Pierre. Jeff. Pierre, Pierre. P I E R. P call me, call me Peter. Call me oh, Peter, yeah. it's easier. <laughs> no problem. Have you been around Silverstone before today? Or? Yeah, with the one to four. Yeah, you've just done that. Right, okay. All right. Well, I'll uh, I'll talk you around. Yep. Just to enjoy it. Um, okay. Let's go and have a ride. Can we go, yeah? Yep. Ready when you are. Are you a biker? Yes. The lines that I encourage you to take yeah. are not dissimilar to a bike line. Okay. In that we'll be turning early, but very smoothly and very progressively. Imagine the steering wheel yeah. being a bike. You don't suddenly lie a bike down, do you? You mm -hmm. go in very gently and yeah. keep leaning in. The steering wheel is the bike. And we'll also combine that smooth, progressive turn with turning in on the brakes. So as you start turning, just slowly ease off the brake pedal as you're turning. Picture a piece of string tied around the brake pedal, brought up right around the steering wheel. As you turn the wheel, it's winding the string round, putting your foot off the brake. So, come onto the brake, stay on the brakes, harder on the brakes, stay on them, turn smoothly, easing off the brakes. Now back on the power, unwinding the wheel slowly, and then just a smooth, progressive turn onto the kerb on the left coming to the left a bit, straighten the car up there, onto the brake, saw that progressive turn, easing off the brake, straight back on the power now, unwind the wheel, let the car run right out to the left, good. When we come down to Stone Corner, we'll be, um, again it's a very progressive turn, it's a very late apex. Saw you braking just before the white board. Right, leave it in four, you can do this in four. Okay. Yeah. A smooth, slow, progressive turn, that's it. Keep it coming into the edge of the curve, gentle power initially, and then start to unwind the wheel, more and more power as you unwind. That's it, straight now towards the white board with the arrow one. Start your braking just before it, then down to third gear. Stay on the brake, stay on the brake as you turn. Turn smoothly, progressively, easing off the brakes. Back on the power, try and use a little bit of flat curve as well, don't be afraid of using them. Run out to the left hand side, unwinding the wheel all the way, straighten the car up momentarily there, and then turn it into the apex on the right. Use all the flat section of curve. Unwind the wheel now as we feed power in. Good. Yeah, yeah. Leave it in four, stay on Leave the four, okay. uh, smooth, progressive turn, straight back on the power now. And let the, unwind the wheel, let the car run towards the curb on the left. We'll keep turning the steering at the same sort of speed there. So it runs out to the right, but it'll keep coming back to the left. Straight up now, hard on the brakes, very hard, 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 hard. Turn smoothly, just easing off the brakes. Back on the power, unwinding the wheel slowly. And then a smooth, progressive turn onto the curb on the left. Good. Straighten the car up, onto the brakes, start your progressive turn, now back on the power, let the car run right out to the left there, that's it, that's good, excellent. Minimum amount of steering input at any yeah. time. Obviously the less steering input you've got, the faster you can go around the corner. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Stay on the brakes, stay on them as you turn, turn smoothly, progressively easing off the brakes. Now gentle power, keep it hooked into the curve, gentle, gentle power. Start to unwind the wheel now and harder and harder and harder on the power. Excellent. Come on to the brakes now, down to third gear. Stay on the brakes, stay on the brakes as you turn, turn smoothly, easing off the brakes. Now back on the power. Look at that curve when you turn and try and get right onto it. So unwind the wheel now slowly, run out to the left, straighten the car up momentarily and then into the apex on the right. Again use this flat section of curve. Unwind the wheel now as you're feeling more and more power in. Good. Onto the brakes, stay on the brakes, progressive turn now, back on the power straight away. Just 
just unwind the wheel up slowly all the way through, bring it into the edge of the curve on the left, the car will run to the right a bit and start to bring itself back to the left and then hard on the brakes now, very hard, 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 stay on the brakes, turn smoothly and progressively. Came off the brakes a little bit quick then, yeah. you feel all that under Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. That's why staying on the brakes keeps weight over the front. It helps the car turn in and eliminate understeer onto the brakes. Turn smoothly right into the curve. Back on the power now. Just let it run right out to the left. Good. Back a little bit, yeah. Goes the opposite to what your head will tell you. Yeah. Onto the brake, smooth, progressive turn, right into the curve, back on the power, unwinding the wheel all the way through. Eliminated 
the understeer on the yeah. way in. So as you start feeding power in and find the wheel, once on the brake, stay on the brake, turn now, now, that's it, back on the power. to say the other one is better the one to four is so much the better one, the, the other car yeah is it yeah it is so much more fun that one yeah what you have to think of this is front wheel drive so the front wheels are trying to do many things yeah that's they're true to slow the car down they're trying to drive the car they're trying to turn the car and they, they're trying to do so many things so you have to do whatever you can to create the least amount of work for those tyres. Yeah. So the, the smoother progressive turn, you're not asking as much in the way of grip that way. You're turning in on the brakes to, to eliminate the weight transfer that creates understeer. Yeah. Because once you've got understeer in a front wheel drive car, you can't come on the power because it just exaggerates your understeer. go behind the red one yep. um, and then just leave the front bumper sort of level with the rear bumper of the yellow one. Okay. Please. I always That's try it. to think of it as, as a, being a motorbike and, and when you go into a corner you wouldn't be whacking a load of power yeah. on, you would be sitting up as you fed the power in, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well try and try and relate to that that you, you and then also the steering at the same time because otherwise it just paints without yeah, doing well yeah it, it, it's what happens is if you induce some understeer the natural reaction is for you to turn more because you feel the car heading that way yeah so you want to turn more which all that does is create more understeer. more yeah that's true yeah so you want to get the wheel straight so as soon as you feel just Stop is in and then yeah. slowly, yeah. But feed power in progressively at the same rate you're unwinding that wheel. It's, it's all it's a science, <laughs> of course, it's the physics it is. of getting this this piece of metal around a piece of tarmac. Um, and, and that's what it is. That's been great, okay. Thank you very much. No problem at all. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, handbrake, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, so? Wonderful, thanks a lot. No problem, thank you. How do you find this one? I prefer the other one. <laughs> You're a rear wheel drive mate.